this is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do we have stuff? <gasps> Ooh, uh, all right. World dot mouse X. This program uses an if block to check or a conditional to block to shake the blender when the mouse is on the left side of the screen. Do this. Run the program to see how it works. Wait, when the mouse is on the left side of the screen. And if I pull it over, okay. Huh. Run the program to see how it works. Add an else to make the mixer shake when the mouse is on the other side of the screen. Hey. So if it's on this side of the screen, it shakes. Notice I can trick it though if I take the mouse off. <laughs> but if it's on this side of the screen, nothing happens. So they want this mixer to shake if it's on the other side. So they tell us right away to add an else. So here's my if. And if mouse dot x is less than 200, well, let's show the grid real quick. And it will tell you values right down here. So here it's 200. Here mouse dot mouse x is 214. My mouse is at 214. So is 214 less than 200? No. So then the, that means this stuff wouldn't run, right? But when I go to here, well, 75, is that less than 200? Yes. Keep in mind the draw loop runs 30 times a second. So 30 times a second, I'm asking, hey, computer, if mouse x is less than 200. So hey, is the mouse's x value less than 200? If it's at 75, that's true. The computer would say true. Yes, it is. And then what happens? Well, we grab the blender's x value and give it a random number, 95 to 100, right? Which is just back and forth, really. And the blender's y, same idea, random number, 295 to 305, which is really just up and down a bit. So we randomize those numbers, and then we redraw the sprite. Now, if this is not true, if I'm at 215, if this is false, then we just says false. We skip over these code, these lines of code. We don't run it. And we have this else here. We do run whatever's in the else. So what do we want to do if this is false? Well, it says else we want to make the blender shake or the mixer shake. We have a great example with the blender. So I'm going to go off that. And if I just drag out, by the way, sprite.x, it will give me an equal sign automatically. Sprite.y. Okay. And then I want to make sure to go into math here and grab some random number blocks. Which are, which are. Now, this isn't going to be, we don't have a sprite, right? We have a mixer variable. So mixer. Now, the values are going to be a bit interesting. So they pick 95 to 105. Where did the blender start, though? And keep in mind, when we create a sprite, this is its starting x value and its starting y value. So it looks like they took the starting x value for the blender and subtract 5. And then they took the starting x value and added 5, just to give it a range of 5. Well, the mixer's starting x value is 300. 300 minus 5 is 295. 300 plus 5 is 305. Did they do the same? Yep, they did the same with y for the blender. So I'm going to do the same. y is 300 again. So minus 5, 295, plus 5, 305. All right, so what should happen if my mouse is on that side of the screen? Yep, it should shake. Else, this should shake. So keep in mind, only one of these blocks can run, one of these chunks. If the mouse is on the left side, these two lines absolutely must run, right? This is true if the mouse is on the left side. If the mouse is less than 200, this runs, and the else cannot run. It just keeps going with the code. It could not run these lines. If this is false, so if the mouse is not less than 200, the x value, that's false. These two lines cannot run, else, right? So this is false. So otherwise, these two lines must run. Never do we have both this line and these lines running. One or the other. Shake, 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 sh